I think I'll be getting some weird looks. <laughs> Yeah. R twelve hundred R. Okay, it's in rain mode. Roads better. Hmm, it's comfortable. Let's go. It's quite different from R ninety. I was expecting them to be similar. But because of the boxer engine, and I guess both are 1200 cc, right? Or maybe not. I'm wrong. I guess. And it's quite heavily equipped. Look at all this. I don't know what this is for actually. The circular rotary control. It has a top box on the back, which I don't want right now. But it's still there, so. bike was that? This is a nice street bike. So unlike R90, this thing doesn't go to the right when you rev. <laughs> I'll follow these guys, that's it. This has got some talk. Okay, no quick shifters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I think that small windshield is making a difference. I have wind only above um, above the shoulder. Yeah, this thing isn't really built for highways. I mean, that is obvious. It's a street bike. Oh, it has cruise control. Why am I not switching it on? I'm an idiot. Okay, so the cruise control is on, and uh, hmm, these guys are slow. Why? Okay, so back to cruise control. <laughs> this feels so weird. So now I'm slowly getting used to it. I think I'll be getting some weird looks. <laughs> okay, if I change gear, it stops the cruise control. But it's fun, man. All these bikes should have cruise control. It's fun. Just that when the road surface is not flat, it can tend to go a bit to the left and right. I'm adjusting using my legs a bit. <laughs> On this boring highway, is right. Having a cruise control makes so much difference. I'm supposed to test this bike on city roads, not highways like this because that's not what it's made for but even this can I'm sure this can handle everything apart from maybe such serious off-roads I think this can be quite a good all-rounder this too has electronic suspension it's in road mode right now you can change to dynamic road that's it road and dynamic hmm. cruise control ABS Traction control, suspension. Ooh, this thing can lean. Damn it, every single bike I ride handles well. Why? 
Okay, back to cruise control. Yes, if we have a BMW GPS, we can just put it here. It's nice, the boxer engine. The console looks a bit outdated. It doesn't look so exciting. Okay, that's the end of cruise control. I have to take a ride. Hmm. The bike is quite dirty though. <laughs> She's in a hurry. Welcome to Brussels. <laughs> it's... I think it's because of the electronic suspension. It feels really stable on corners. Even the flickability is quite good. And I'm sure in city it should be uh, quite manageable. I'm not riding in heavy traffic or anything right now. I don't have to lane split. So that is the crash guard slash engine head <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> well, I don't know what they have put to protect it because that is the first thing that will get damaged, right? In case of a fall. So if you're not after a typical inline 4 or a triple engine street bike, this is a very good option. It has all the electronic bits, so if you don't want to compromise on that, then you don't have to. So that's the Art 100R. This one looks nice. The one I rode is all dirty. Hmm. The single sided swing arm is completely covered by the exhaust. But maybe one has to put Acra on it. And the shaft drive. It should be good. Oh, I have one more to write. <laughs> Doing 150 on a scooter. <laughs> BMW. This windshield is weird. 